Do you know what's funny? If, if they can create a religion of the Jedi, <laughs> let's get Fuck behind yeah. predator yeah. religion. Yeah. Right? I'm <laughs> down to clown. Yeah. I'm ready. That'd be yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Like, this is our faith. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's got a yeah. full so mythology. I'm glad, glad we got into that for it. a bit. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's been really fucking entertaining uh, learning more about that. So that's, that's how I've been filling my time. Been on a real, a real predator kick as of late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's funny. Uh, you know, oh, Jesus, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. Well, well, we I love it. I love it. Jesus, never uh, mind. Oh, well, no. Well, like you think about the warrior culture and the stoicism and like the aggression and like these are masculine traits. And I, they, they, I was going to drag it back to that wounded masculine. Like, yeah. uh, watched a documentary with my partner, or at least a par- portion of it. Uh, she drags out Gaia documentaries once mm-hmm. in a while. And this one, they were talking about the wounded masculine. Where, uh, see, it's, it's it depends on the angle that you're approaching because like a lot of old traditions, spiritual traditions have divine masculine and divine feminine qualities. It's, it's yin and yang. It's, it's left and right. It's uh, the right-hand path, left-hand path. And it depends on where you're at because I've also read a lot of gender activists that say, well, that's so oppressive because binary gender is oppressive and it's a social construct. But then there's also the element that like right-brained uh, behaviors are different than left brain behaviors. You've got like stoicism, rational logic, uh, aggressive tendencies versus emotion and uh, mercy and like, uh, I guess, uh, nurturing tendencies. Mm-hmm. And I guess those those different balances would be the divine masculine being nurturing and emotional and healing and uh, divine or divine feminine being nurturing, emotional and healing and divine masculine being aggressive and assertive and stoic, right? Uh, more rational, logical as opposed to emotional. And uh, this, this documentary, this woman was talking about that that erasure of these differences is a detriment to our culture. We need to recognize that they are equal, you know, that yeah. they're different, no, no, but they're equal. Know when those things are needed. Yes. Be able to have both those inside of you in a balance. Instead of trying to be the extreme of one or the other, yes. have both in Or you. being a caricature of it. Like yes. w- yeah. women what could you, use yeah. a little more stoicism <laughs> yeah. and, and men could use a little more sensitivity and yeah. try and balance out your, the feminine in as opposed to the wounded masculine yeah. or the wounded well, feminine. And try and do it honestly too because I do. I can just picture some guys being like, well, can you get in touch with like more of your feminine aspects? Being like, oh, I guess I'll put in a fucking dress. When You're not like, gonna stick your well, dick no. in my ass. Can you can you be nurturing <laughs> in some way? Hey, can you can you grow something? Can you be understanding? Can you be supportive emotionally? Like yeah. that's to me, those are what are traditionally more feminine yes. traits. And that's but again, balancing that and, in. And it, why, yeah, exactly. That's just that's just identifying it. Mm-hmm. That's just identifying what they are. That's not saying that if you aren't that, you aren't that, right? If you aren't nurturing and caring and thoughtful, well, then you're not feminine. And it's like, well, no, you can absolutely be feminine and not necessarily being a terribly nurturing, thoughtful, caring person in other ways that a person can be feminine. But those are definitely traits that lean towards that. Can you work on maybe not being emotionally castrated? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> can we yeah. do that? Yeah. Um, and yeah, the be one- it all. Fucking, like, and again, this is my whole thing about this is like a tough guy can be all those things. A tough man can be sensitive and small and 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 can be hurt and and can do that because you're tough and strong. Well, what and is you tough? Can deal with what that. is the definition exactly. of tough? Like, exactly. I, I've always said tough is endurance. Tough is sure. patience last through hardship. Out. Yeah, yeah. last it out, grind it out, take a licking, as yeah. opposed to being able to give one. Yeah. And uh, that's to me tough, uh, uh, as opposed to the idea of you're a bully and you're imposing your will on others, whether they like it or not. That's not tough. That's just mm-hmm. imperial. Tough is carrying somebody else's fucking load. Yeah. If somebody can't you walk, I mean? you pick them up and you carry yeah, them. Firefighters. It's much tougher. Versus the military, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, yeah. So so it's funny. This woman, she talked about tribal cultures previous to the Christian idea of what masculinity was. Tribal cultures recognized that the men were the hunters. They were the builders. They were the aggressive element. And the woman's job traditionally was the healer, the keeper of the hearth and home. And the limiting factor of saying you've hunted enough. We have enough animals right now. You don't need to go kill. We've done enough war. (laughs) We've protected our our, our grounds. You don't need to kill anymore to dial back that aggressive tendency. Now, if you apply that to our own psychology and our own behaviors, we need to do that to ourselves to recognize when we've acted appropriately aggressively enough exactly. and say this is where we draw the line and that's that's, that's all we that's need been to do my, that's been my uh, my journey as an adult is to try to figure out you know when to appropriately use that energy because well, instead of being ashamed of it or oh, I can't believe that's how I blow up about that or that's how I react to this or whatever which sucks and, and you mean you should be if it's inappropriate you should be slightly ashamed of it but not get down on it fucking deal with it and move forward but then when you can use that energy in the place it's supposed to be used and in a positive way 
fucking bask in the glory of being an animal. Bask in the glory yes, of being there's a time that, and place that raw, for that. visceral fucking thing, wherever that is, right? See, it's just, it's a journey to try and figure out where the fuck that is sometimes. Now, the idea with the warrior archetype is, like, there's this idea that, like... Uh, and it's the idea coming from the wounded masculine, right? That you should bug out at the drop of a hat, right? Like any little slight needs to be met with violence, right? And that's a wounded attitude. That's As, a wounded animal. Yes, it is. Right? That's and, how and they react. Yes. Snap, big snare. You're a threat. Even I'm if I can't you. possibly fucking beat you, I want you to see all my teeth and claws and think for a second, well, fuck, this badger might get me. You take a look at any rescue dog that's been on the mm-hmm. street or neglected or been abused and it's just been left in, you know, let's say a junkyard. And the people that are going to rescue it are trying to rescue it. Everything's a threat and yeah. it's going to attack anybody. Everything's a trap. And then once they realize that they can trust again and like they have that Mm -hmm. but they recognize they're in a safe place and I think unfortunately and again that happens with female dogs yes hey and And that's a very masculine energy of attack 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 again these are not these are not gender and and genital uh, traits right because I think even like with the warrior thing like we're Mm -hmm. talking about like I'm sure anecdotally throughout tribes there was female warriors oh, that were like, were. no, I'm fucking more savage than him. Yeah. You want to send Bill? You want to send skinny noodle arm fucking Bill? I whip Bill's ass every fucking day. I'm killing mastodons. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. It was definitely those ladies, right? Well, and so that's, that's again, the masculine feminine doesn't have to be genital related. It's fucking, no, it's, it's archetypal. It's, fucking, it's archetypal yeah, man, principles. It's, it's emotion.